Good Friday morning, folks. First carrier update indeed. A little bit around the world today and starting off with volumes and rejections kind of get our bearings right now as we're going into the weekend. Yeah, so just kind of an update of what's happened here. We've seen volumes uh, drop this week a little bit. We've had a, a disturbing fat past few weeks. In the last couple of weeks of October, October is not normally a stellar month for carriers anyways, but in the last couple of weeks of October, uh, Thomas, we saw spot rates just kind of drop, fall down, um, a big dip in you know, rejection or not rejection rates in. <clears throat> when you bring up our uh, market dashboard and run some lanes, you'll see a, a little decent, you know, drop in rates all across the board. It's just showed how much uh, the, the position of the carriers weakened in the last two weeks of October. And that was trying to start into November 1st, which now we're getting into the the two big months of the year where hopefully they can make a, a lot of money, which is normally the very busy Christmas season. But we're not seeing any momentum yet. So we look at volumes, uh, beginning of October, volumes closed down a lot lower than what we started with in, in October 1st versus October 31st. So that's not really good. These are contract volumes. And rejection rates are also trending down. Now our OTRI is less than 3.5%. It came in at 3.46% yesterday. So again, we're just seeing our OTVI and our OTR just kind of slowly go down, down, down. And that's what it looks like. We had a lot of talk about fo folks front loading, uh, you know, seasonal moving things further in advance. Black Friday has, if you look at Amazon and Walmart, they're now competing about a week or two earlier than traditional Black Friday. I do wonder if this is a situation where uh, you know, we fired all the powder early and then it's going to be a lot worse until these yeah. ad hoc spots. So instead of having a peak, we've drawn it out yeah. to where it's not quite as high, but a little bit longer. And we did have a little bit, you know, volumes were a little bit higher than expected in September. <clears throat> Let's break down the rejection rates here or the volumes first. Reefer volumes are actually starting to bounce back right now, but they've been on decline uh, for, you know, a little over a week here. Uh, but they're starting to bounce back here. And we'll see reef volumes bounce back a little bit as we get closer to Thanksgiving for obvious reasons, food, turkey, chicken, duck. Always the turkey. <laughs> yeah, always the turkey. Going, you know, getting ready for those products to ship to the stores. But drive-in has just been trickling down. And so this could put a real hurt. So one of the biggest problems right now, especially for carriers, brokers, et cetera, is volumes. There's so many carriers out there, brokers out there right now and splitting the pie between them all. <clears throat> they're not getting the volumes that they need. They may have contracted rates. The rates might be good, but they're just not getting all the volume that they need. Uh, and that's why we've seen several trucking companies go out of business here lately. <clears throat> but these are contract volumes and they continue to go down. Now, normally this time, some, you might see contract volumes go down because they're going over to the spot market. Yeah. But these volumes aren't necessarily going over the spot market. You may have some shippers that are looking for discounts and going over the spot market, sure and taking, taking away some volumes. But if you talk to the guys that are looking at the spot boards, there's not a lot of freight out there for them either. So <clears throat> all these big companies are trying to suck up these volumes. And that's why our rejection rates are below three and a half percent. I think you see that as well on our uh, next chart here. If, you, if it was moving to the spot, we'd see higher rejection rates. When you're looking at such a low rejection rate that, you yeah. know, three and a half down to 3.17 percent that tells me that they're not meeting their commitments if you needed 50 a week you're probably at 40 right now and we see that volume drop that hurts and there's plenty of open capacity in the markets <clears throat> we see drive in down to 3.17 which is absolutely terrible uh we have uh flatbeds that's increasing right now it's at 9.52 percent good for flatbed this is some of the lowest rejection rates we've seen for flatbedders in quite some time and the same with Reefer, which is down to 6.78%. But both Reefer and drive -in are bouncing back a little bit starting right before the end of the month. So it could have an, some effects from the end of the month freight. But right now they've continued for just a few days and we'll see if they continue. The important part is to watch this, uh, what happens in November on drive -in. Is it going to turn back around? If these guys, I mean, we've already said it's going to be a pretty mute uh, Christmas season. But it, we expect them to get some momentum. If they don't get any momentum, it's really going to hurt a lot of these companies. And those are going to be the companies that we see failing in January and February. Yeah, it's not going to get better in January. No. <laughs> you hope 5% rejection rate or bust, folks. That's a wrap for this first carry update. Donnie, thank you so much. We'll be back three more times in the program. Next, going to toss it over to Kaylee to take a look at some top stories.